Hello, welcome back to Mark's House and Garden UK. I've just bought these two Alpines. Ajuga, Raptons Braunhertz. And according to the label, it creates a deep purple flower spikes above carpets of glossy purple bronze foliage. It sounds lovely, it looks lovely. The only problem is, I wanted more and they only had two left in the shop. They were only £1.75. If I could have got more, I would have, because I want the whole bottom end or better bottom layer of this mound to be covered in this carpet of bronzy purple flowers. But what I've noticed is if you look at the underside of these branches here, they're all starting to set little roots. I'll show you a little close up on the camera. So what I intend doing is trying to propagate them. Now I had two sort of schools of thought on this. Do I keep them in the pot and try and layer them onto separate pots and let them get roots and then chop them? I do a chop them and then just layer them onto the soil and hope that they grow. Well, I've got two plants, so I'm going to try both approaches. I'm going to keep one in its pot and put a pot next door to it and layer it onto the soil of the neighbouring pot and then eventually I should be able to cut the two. And this one, I've got three legs here, so I'll cut those legs off. All three legs have got roots on them and I'm going to pin those to the earth and lightly cover them in compost and hopefully they'll grow. So two different approaches to propagating this wonderful carpet ground for clover plant. Let's get on with it. Let's start off with this one first, which is the one I'm going to leave on the mother plant, but attempt to propagate in situ in a plant pot next to it. So I want to put that in the ground and I want to plant that out and I want that to rest on that. So let's use my grubbing hoe, very useful tool this, to kind of carve out a niche for this. And that can be sitting in there like that. There's probably many easy ways of doing this, but I like my experiments, so that can go in there. And now what we can do is we can we can fill that with compost. I might end up with four plants which I can cut up. They were £1.70 each, so four plants would be £7 worth of free plants. There we go. Compost on there. Bed it in. Next thing I'll do is plant that one next to it. Put a bit of fresh compost in the hole just to give it a bit of a start. Now let's put that plant in that hole. Good root system, look at that. With the branches pointing in that direction. Now what I want to happen is I want that to kind of be distributed evenly around how am I going to get it to rest on the soil? Well, I've got some pebbles here. What if I just kind of rest the pebbles on it? There's one. There's another. There's a third. And there's a fourth. So in theory, now what I've got is the mother plant there, the parent plant, I keep gendering plants, I shouldn't do, um, the parent plant and four little capsules which have got other potential plants resting on them. I'm going away on a trip next week for two weeks. I would put money on the fact that within two weeks they will have rooted. I'll be able to sever it from the parent plant and then divide those up as well so I'll have 
five plants for the price of one. Now, let's go and do the other one, which is essentially chopping them off the parent plant and planting them separately. Here's the second of the two plants. It's got three legs on it. One there, one there, and one there. And two of those have got really well-formed roots on them already. Can you see them? They're right there, kind of yellow stalks sticking out the bottom. Hopefully you can see that, but that to me has the makings of another plant. Two of them have got great roots, this third one hasn't got great roots yet. I'm going to leave that on the parent's foot. Here goes. There's one. There's another. First thing I'll do is get this one in the ground. I'll put it about here. That can do its work. I will also put a pebble on that branch just to encourage it to put roots down. Now let's look at these other two. Yeah, they've got nice, they've got nice roots on them, but they've got also a lot of foliage. So I think I shall cut a bit of the foliage off just to help redress the balance between root and plant. Still some foliage, but not as much as there was. What am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to plant it. How am I going to plant it? Well, really straightforward. Place it on the ground. Its roots are touching the ground. I know they're touching the ground because there's a pebble on it. That's one of them done. I've got one there, one behind me over my right shoulder. And in a moment, I'll have another. Let's just take a few of these big leaves off here because they will be letting off moisture, which will be stressing the plant because it hasn't got very many roots, so they can come off. You can always cut half leaves off, you know, if you're wondering which to take off. And again, we've got the makings of a little runner there, which can basically just get placed on the on top of the soil. I think I'll put one up there on the top of the mound. I'm really just placing it and putting some weight on it. I'm actually putting a bit of soil on top of that just to retain moisture. You think it'll work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hit subscribe and the notification bell. And in about three weeks time, I'll give you an update on this little experiment. Propagating a Juga. Raptons Braunhertz. Bye for now.